Hey there, Dirt Diggers. Hey, it's DK with Adventures in Dirt. Welcome back to another episode of The Weekly Dirt. Hey, if you're new to The Weekly Dirt, The Weekly Dirt's a weekly series I put on every Sunday where I bring you the best of what our metal detecting community has to offer. I'll show you some finds. I'll introduce you to some channels. I'll tell you about what's going on. Hey, you can end your week with me right here every Sunday on The Weekly Dirt. Hey, like what we're doing here at Adventures in Dirt? Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the family. Hey, it's been a great week of digging out there. I tell you, I got all kinds of features for you. I've got gold coins for you. I've got old coppers for you, old relics. I've even got an Anglo-Saxon pendant dating back 1,500 years. Hey, you know, here on the Weekly Dirt, sometimes I feature channels that have been around forever, some really large channels. I also feature some very small channels. Channels are just starting out. I try to mix it up. I hope you all appreciate that. Today, I'm starting out with a brand new channel. Channel has only housed one video on his channel. It's pretty cool. Hey, let's check in this week with All Metal Mike. That's right, All Metal Mike got a great permission up there in Paulsdale, New Jersey. He got the opportunity to dig at the childhood home of Alice Paul. Alice Paul was one of the main pioneers and early architects of the Equal Rights Amendment. Let's check out this presentation he put together for his local historical society and check out what he was finding on that great permission. Check this out, All Metal Mike. Watch this. Hey, just a lot of great finds there from Alice Paul's childhood home. Awesome collection of finds, great job. I know he took some time metal detecting that property and this presentation was his culmination of that search. So great job there, Mike. Hey everyone, do me a favor, head on over to All Metal Mike's channel. Give him the big thumbs up, say, saw you on the weekly dirt. Good luck, man. Keep making more great videos and we're behind you. We support you. That'd be awesome. Hey, we had one of those, oh my God moments this week in the metal detective community. That's right. One of those finds that makes your hands shake. One of those finds that make your knees quake. That's right. Let's check in this week with Finding America as he had an amazing hunt. Let's follow along with Finding America. Watch this. Uh, this hunt was pretty amazing. Uh, it was really amazing, actually. I've been hunting 39 years. I started hunting when I was 11 years old. And uh, I'm gonna have to put this hunt up in the, probably the top two or three hunts I've ever had. Boy, what I found next just floored me, surprised me, literally took my breath away. I want you to hopefully feel the excitement I felt when I dug this up. And uh, so you'll just have to excuse the fact that my hand is shaking uncontrollably. Okay, guys. Um, Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I don't even know where to start. Oh my lord. But look guys, 
I want you to see this. Do you see it? I have a gold coin. I have a freaking gold coin. Can you see that? It, oh my gosh. Oh, I can see the eagle on the back. Oh my gosh. I can't stop shaking, guys. Oh my gosh. Alright, I see a date. Oh gosh, I wish my hand would stop shaking. <laughs> I'm sorry about the camera work, guys. Uh, it, I think it says 1879. Oh my gosh. It's about the size of a nickel. I'm thinking it's a 250 piece, but... All right, guys, I did exactly what you should do. When you find something really good, watch this. There's more in the hole. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, it's, oh my God. It looks like a silver quarter. Oh my God, there is something else in the hole. Never found a seated quarter. see the quarter oh my gosh guys look at it oh my gosh you gotta be kidding me and you know what there's another signal in the hole it is oh my gosh it's a, oh, it's a silver dime and I see one dime on this side oh my gosh there's another coin in the hole there it is. There it is. It's a penny. I think it's a. It's an Indian. <laughs> this is an amazing spill. Oh yeah, it's a barber. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You will not believe it. It's 1897 as well. The Indian looks to be 1899. Best coin spill ever. For me, for sure. Wow, hey, Finding America, great, great week. What an amazing find, that gold coin, then a seated quarter. Oh, my barber dime, Indian head penny, but I'm telling you guys, that was just the coin spill. You really gotta go back and watch that entire video. The link is down below. It was an incredible hunt from start to finish. I couldn't possibly squeeze it all in here. I focused on the coin spill, but I'm telling you, you found a great US Navy class ring, 14 karat gold. He found some awesome artifacts from the early 1800 periods. You guys need to head on over there, give him a big thumbs up and watch that video. And if you're not a fan, go become a subscriber of Finding America. Great job this week, man. Congratulations, what an incredible find. Hey, I would have been shaking too, no problem. Great week this week from Finding America. Everyone head on over there and give them a big thumbs up and show them some support. Hey, sometimes when you're out hunting, you're hunting all day, you're tired, but it seems to be that last 30 minutes, man, where you can just find some amazing stuff if you just stick it out. Somebody proved that to us this week. Let's check in with Relic Dirty Hands. Let's check in with Eric and see what he was digging this week. Check this out from Relic Dirty Hands. Watch this. And uh, I mean, it was amazing. It's probably the best 30 minutes of detecting I've had this year. All right, second signal I dig. And look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a George V. Actually, I think it's earlier than a large scent. It's big, yeah, it's bigger than a large scent. Yeah. I think I can see Upper Canada here. I'm not sure what it is yet. Um, but it's freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm super happy with this. It's a, it's an old copper. Cleaned it off so I can tell what it is now. And I've never found this coin before. This is a first for me. It's a uh, half penny token. It says Upper Canada on the bottom and there's a, uh, a sailboat on it. Now on the other side, it looks like two shovels that are crossed with an anvil and it says 1820 at the bottom. What is that? Oh my 
goodness. Almost looks like a beaver on there. I can't believe this. It's literally four signals in a row now that it's some really uh, period stuff, like early 1800 stuff. Okay, so I cleaned it up better and I can make it out. It's a ship colonies and commerce. Is a ring. Oh, you can see inside it's still all the gold color inside. And there's a marking, I think, of some type. Remember the outside is just dirty inside Cool. I'm happy with it. Hey boy, you said it. You know, that was a great hunt from start to finish, but you're right, that last 30 minutes was amazing. You pulled some incredible old coppers out, some incredible tokens, just some great, great artifacts, and then you close it off with a ring. Great job, Eric. Great job with you and your digging partner out there. Everyone, head on over to the channel, become a fan of Relic Dirty Hands. That's right. Tell them you saw them right here on the Weekly Dirt. Great job, guys. Great job. Hey, it happened, just an incredible treasure discovery over in Kent, England, that's right. How about a 1500 year old Anglo-Saxon gold pendant? Just an amazing find. Rachel Carter and her digging partner, Ricky, were out detecting near Kent, England and came upon the discovery of a lifetime. Check out this report from the BBC on this amazing Anglo-Saxon gold pendant. Check this out. The discovery of a Saxon coin on a farm in East Kent two weeks ago is causing a lot of excitement among archaeologists. It holds valuable clues about how people may have lived, traded and how undertook their daily lives and it could be worth as much as £50,000 at auction. Ian Palmer has been to meet the detectorists who found it. They came from Germany, Denmark and the Netherlands. The largest groups call themselves Angles, Saxons and Jutes. They were woodworkers, farmers and metal workers. Some of them would have touched this gold coin. It was found by Rachel Carter, who's a metal detector enthusiast. Some of the guys have been there for years and years and years detecting and told me that, that you know, it's just a dream find. It's something, you know, top of their list, find of a lifetime. I'll put it on Facebook on one of the metal detecting pages on there. And within an hour and a half, I think there was nearly 400 likes and as many comments of just stunning, you know, um, brilliant, well done. The couple are members of a metal detecting club. The pair go exploring together most weekends. Dr Luke Levan is a lecturer in archaeology at the University of Kent in Canterbury. And then it has a second life. It's been converted into a pendant at some stage. Like a lot of this type of coin, that seems to have been a fashion for, for this particular type of coin. Um, we find these in East Anglia and in Kent, particularly an area where there is surviving political or developing political complexity. There have been many finds in the southeast. In September 2009, Saxon buried treasure was found in Sittingbourne. In June 2014, Anglo-Saxon silver pennies were unearthed in a field near Eastbourne. And in August 2015, human remains were found in a giant burial ground in Ocklinge Hill. It's not just a finding it and money, it's about, you know, 1400 years old and who's, who's touched it? Who's, yeah. Where was it? Who did it belong to? What is it? You know, that, that's the fascinating thing about metal detecting. If a museum can't afford to buy it, the coin will be sold to a private collector. The money will be shared between the finder and the landowner. Ian Palmer, BBC South East Today, Canterbury. Hey, anytime you can find gold like that in the ground and save it from being lost in history, what an amazing discovery. Rachel Carter and Ricky, great job out there. You know, it said you're metal detecting enthusiasts. Hey, not anymore. You guys are metal detecting superstars. That's right. Awesome discovery. Made the news everywhere. Congratulations. Keep digging. I'm sure there's more of it out there in your future. Absolutely. Hey, time for some announcements. Digging deep, digging deep time at a 200 sub giveaway. I'm gonna put the link down below. Head on over there, watch this video. Follow all the rules and get involved in that giveaway. It's a good one. Digging deep, 200 sub giveaway. Check it out.
Hey, the Stealth Diggers, that's right. Charlie over there is giving away a great through night flashlight. Awesome little flashlight. Keep it on your vest, keep it in your gear. Just a great giveaway from the Stealth Diggers. Hey, and that Charlie's always got some great fashion sense, doesn't he? I'm telling you, that shirt he's wearing is just amazing. Yeah, great support of the Weekly Dirt Show. We really appreciate it, Charlie. Everyone, when you head on over there and enter this contest, give him a big thumbs up and say, hey, love the Weekly Dirt. Thanks for supporting the show. And good luck to everyone getting in on this great flashlight giveaway from the Stealth Diggers. Guess who's at 500 sub? That's right, who's your hillbilly? He's at 500 subs and he's having a great giveaway. Links down below. Head on over there, follow the rules, win yourself a prize. Give him a big thumbs up. Say, hey bud, saw you here on the Weekly Dirt. That'd be awesome. Congratulations, who's your hillbilly? Great channel. Hey, so check it out, Digging with Rob, FL Thunder, that's right, he's actually at 800 subs, but he's actually having a 600 sub giveaway. He's playing some catch up, that's right. He's doing his 600 sub giveaway. Head on over to his channel, links down below, follow all the rules, he's always giving away some great prizes. Get on over there and check him out and give him some support. Digging with Rob, FL Thunder, gotta go check him out. Hey, and thanks a lot for everyone that came along to my first International Digger Spotlight. That's right, last Friday, special Friday edition. We had Neil Colston, Diggers Down Under, the comic chef from Australia. It was a great time. If you missed it, I'm gonna put the link right up here. You can go head on over there and check it out. But for those of you that showed up, thanks for your support. Appreciate all those questions, that's great. And congratulations to all of you that won a prize on that show, awesome. Make sure you stay tuned for my next Digger Spotlight. I'll be announcing it soon. Hey, that's it. That's what I got for you this week on the Weekly Dirt. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have yourself a great week. I'll see you next Sunday.